Hey what's up guys and welcome to another hack client review video. So today the hack client Weepcraft got updated to 1.7.2 and it's one well known hack client in the hack client scene and it's also one of the most amazing hack clients because it has so many features this is just awesome and the download link for Weepcraft is as always in the description so just click at the link in the description and download it it's 100% safe and legit. And um, if you don't know how to install a hack client, please check out my tutorial on how to install a hack client. Also this week I will do an updated tutorial especially for 1.7.2. Okay, so let's go to the game and check out the features of Weepcraft, so here we go. Okay, we're now in the game Minecraft 1.7.2 hack client Weepcraft coded by Flycoder. Also his website is flycoder.com, here you can always get the latest version of Weepcraft. And let's go to options and see if Optifine is included. So currently there is no Weepcraft version which has Optifine included, but this will be implemented in the next versions. Then let's go back to the main menu. So here we have some amazing features. Um, first we have here VIP donate. So if you want to get a VIP, then you have to donate. And if you click at this, you get um, redirected to the donation site. Then here we have a hotkey to Weep forums. Um, if you have a question on the hack client, you can can go to weepforums.com and then ask other people or um, if you want to get a updated version just go to weepforums.com or flycoder.com and here you can always up and download the latest version okay then here we have a alt manager so here you can add premium or offline accounts just go here to direct um, slash add then fill in a username and a password so if it should be a cracked account then just leave the password form blank so um, I don't know just enter some random information here go to add and if you want to switch your name just go here to login and then you're logged in with the other account and we also have here a Mac bands check so here you can check if the account is um, MC bands but um, this is for VIPs only so to get VIP as I said you have to donate then let's go back then here we have a proxy manager so if you are IP band just go here to direct uh, then search any proxy, enter the IP and then um, double point and the port, go to add and then you can connect to the proxy and bypass the IP ban on any server. Okay, then here we have client settings. So here you have client toggle, so this is a VIP feature only, so you have to donate. Um, same goes for command prefix, VIP feature only and here you can activate the shout box. So if you don't want the shout box then just go to false. Then here you can also adjust the colors of the hack client, but this is for VIPs only. Then here um, you can set the hotkey for the GUI, so this is pretty cool, just click at this and then you can customize the GUI key. But I would recommend that you leave it on the left control key, okay? Then also here is a hotkey for the console. Um, the console also opens up if you open up the GUI. But there's also a hotkey for the console only and this would be the right control key. Or if you want to change it, just click at it and then you can change it. Then here under miscellaneous we have managers. So here you can manage your keybinds um, from any hack, so this is pretty awesome. Just go to add, then the command you want to bind, just add it and then also press the key you want to bind the command to. Okay, then let's go back here. Then here we also have frames, so here we have a account checker, account cracker, proxy checker, um, so you can see if the proxy is up or not. We have a spammer, a server stressor, so pretty awesome things here. Not sure if, if they're working or not, so I'm pretty sure that the account cracker isn't working, so trust me. Then here we have also some tutorials, um, so um, the Flycoder has also a YouTube channel with great tutorials to um, Weepcraft, so if you want to check out some some additional features on Weepcraft or you want to get used to this uh, hack client then I would really recommend that you check out his videos because they are really great. Okay, then here we have force update, so if you want to get the latest version then just go to force update, restart and then it re-downloads um, the char, okay? And here you can also reset all settings to default. So let's go back to the menu and basically that were all of the features here in the menu and all the client settings. And now let's go to the game and check out the amazing features of the hack client. Also here on the top we have Weep server. So if you click on this you will be redirected to a server. But currently the server is down or let's try it. Connecting to the server. Okay, so I think it's down. But um, you can try it. This will um, connect you to the Weepcraft server. Okay, and let's go to controller.com and check out the features of the hack client. So here we go, guys. Okay, guys, we're now here in the game online on a multiplayer server. 
And as you can see, it's a little bit laggy. This is because Weavecraft is currently an alpha version. And also there is no op defined in this mod, so um, this is a little bit laggy right now. But in the final version, which will come in the next days or maybe next week, it will get really bad, okay? So to open up the GUI, you have to press the left control key or the key you have configured before. So this opens up this GUI here. So here on the top, we have the console. So here you can enter commands. So for instance, if you want to enter any command, just type it. And then um, Weepcraft should suggest you um, the commands you can enter. So if you type, um, for instance, the letter H, then you get some um, free commands which you can type like help, high jump, and hit DSP, okay? So pretty simple and cool feature. Then um, further here in the GUI, we have um, those bars here. So if you click at those bars, then um, this menu here pops up. So here you can enable all the modules and the hacks are in the modules. So you have to open up the modules, then expand the modules and then the hacks are in the modules. Then here you can also open up some menus like array list, frames, managers, mod hub. And here we also have rendering stuff like the minimap, which looks really awesome. Here you can see the minimap. So it looks pretty cool because it's colored and pretty awesome. So you don't have to install it manually. It's included into this hack client. So this is really great. Then here we also have a radar, text radar um, here on the right side. And also here a um, graphical radar here on the bottom. And we also have a rear view. So pretty cool so you can see what is behind you and this is also pretty funny which is also a quite new feature then here on the left top corner we have the mod hub so here you can see auto mods comet mods graphic mods so basically everything which you can see here on the right so let's start with auto mods so if you want to expand this category you have to click at the left box and if you want to pin this to your screen just click at the right box so if you close the GUI now then it is still on your screen so let's reopen the GI and try this with the next category. So here we have the array list and as you can see this stays on your screen. Okay, so let's expand all those categories. So here we have auto mods, array list, player mods, then here we have graphic mods, combat mods, managers, frames, world mods. And also here under the text radar we have screen. So let's put the text radar beside and just drag and drop it here to the bottom. And as you can see here we have the screen features, so if you want to have some information like armor usage, um, in which biome you're currently, um, which block, compass, chords, frames per second, um, your ping, light, name, potions, um, the server IP, space, target, time or tool usage, just click at this and then you get all the information here on the left top corner and then you can drag and drop it around the screen and you always see this information here, so pretty cool. Then let's go to auto mods and check out if there are any new features. So we have all the basic features and if you don't know what each feature does, I would really recommend that you check out flycoder.com and also his YouTube channel because he explains all the features in details and I can't do this in this video here because this would take really too long. And also 80 to 90% of the hacks are working right now in this alpha version, so this is really great. And one funny hack is get high, so this lets you walk through the world like a chunky on LSD. Useless, but pretty funny. We also have here other features like hit DSP, label, mob ESP, we have no blinds, no render, no weather, overlay. Um, we also have every rendering hack in here and also wall hacks. We have here a player ESP which draws boxes around other players so you can see them through walls. We have here trail, wall hack. Wall hack looks pretty funny as you can see here. Then we have also VC hub. So if we close the UI here on the bottom you can see that you get some bars for the hunger bar, for your health bar and also for your armor bar. So pretty cool if you don't like the original one. And we also have wireframe which renders the world in a wireframe model. Also looks pretty cool but pretty useless if you have x-ray. Then here we have zoom, so a little zoom hack. And also we have combat mods for PvP like aimbot, anti-fireball, anti-hurt cam, anti-knockback, critical hits, aimbots, kill aura, kill aura legit and also multi aura. Then here we have managers, so basically managers is the same what you can find in the settings of the hacks. So you can edit the keybinds and do some other stuff like um, adjust the GUI, modals and x-ray. Then also here we have some world mods like AFK, Detect, Annihilator, Counter, Excavator. So there are so many hacks in there, this is just awesome. We also have Chatback and NoCheat, so NoCheat is really great because it tries to bypass NoCheat. 
so you have to see if it works on the server you're playing on or not but in most cases it's not working we also have some other hacks like no fall um, no reses notify nuke also nuke legit and recordings which is really great if you record hacking videos you can you can hide your name we also have here speed hack throw hack timer and x-ray then here under frames you have a account checker account cracker proxy checker spammer or stressor so basically the same which you can find in the client settings and also here on the right bottom corner we have another bar if you click at this you can switch the teams of the gy we have a gradient rounded normal or textured but i like gradient the most and basically now we went through all of the features of this gui here and let's close this and try out x-ray so if you press the x button then it activates x-ray so by default it's binded to the x key and as you can see it works pretty well but you have to adjust the opacity and the blocks you want to see just as you like it okay so this was my review of the weepcraft hack line for 1.7.2 so if you enjoyed this video and you also want to be informed on any other upcoming 1.7.2 hacks, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask and leave a comment under this video. So as always, thanks for watching and see you again in my next videos. Bye guys!